the impossible scale. The victim was Dr. Alistair Finch, a brilliant but obsessive scientist specializing in exotic materials. The scene was his isolated, heavily secured containment lab. The circumstances of his death were horrifying, but the anomaly found by the forensic team was far worse than the wounds themselves. On the gurney, Dr. Finch appeared normal, a man of roughly 200 pounds. But when the medical examiner slid the body onto the digital scale, the numbers that flashed back were impossible, 0.00 pounds. The needle didn't just stop at zero, it rested at zero. The body of a fully grown man with all his bones, blood, and organs possessed zero measurable mass. The gravity paradox. The first assumption was a malfunction. They swapped scales, they recalibrated, they even tried an old fashioned balance. The result was always the same, zero weight. Dr. Finch was a ghost of mass, a physical anomaly in a world governed by gravity. But this led to the chilling contradiction of the autopsy. While the body was weightless, the internal damage suggested the exact opposite. Dr. Finch's internal structure was obliterated. His ribs were fractured, his internal organs ruptured, and his spinal column was severely compressed. The trauma was consistent with a person being subjected to extreme, crushing G-force. The ultimate paradox was this. He was weightless, but he died from being crushed by immense weight. The police were faced with a physical impossibility. If Dr. Finch weighed nothing, what force could have caused that level of internal destruction? The isolated clue. The answer lay in the work that consumed Dr. Finch. His lab was dedicated to mass isolation, the theoretical manipulation of gravitational fields to create pockets of zero G. The final clue was found clutched in his hand, a small lead-lined containment sphere, perfectly intact. On the inside of the sphere, faintly etched, was a final entry. Mass successfully isolated. Problem, containment field breach. The mass seeks an anchor. Our theory, Dr. Finch didn't just nullify his weight. He successfully separated his physical body from its own gravitational mass. When the containment failed, the immense isolated mass didn't vanish. It sought the nearest available anchor point. It turned inward using his own body as the gravitational center, crushing him to death while simultaneously rendering him weightless to the outside world. He died from a self-inflicted black hole, an implosion caused by his own isolated mass. The zero-weight body remains one of the most chilling scientific contradictions on record. The unsolved mass. This mystery is completely unsolved. Did Dr. 